Hello, Sally Henderson, High Stakes Leadership Mentor. Have you ever wondered how your life would be different if you could understand your emotions better? But not only that, if you could put a plan of action in front of you quickly and easily to take negative emotions and translate them across into positive ones. Good news is, in today's video, I'm giving you a tool to do just that to give you fast emotional insight onto how you're really feeling about an important situation that's high stakes, and most importantly, what you can do to set yourself up to excel. So grab a pen, grab a paper, and let's get started. So this is my five word reveal, and I teach it to my clients all the time. Because interestingly, when you're in a high stakes senior leadership role, often the last persons who emotions you really understand are your own. And having that conversation with a colleague or someone in your team about how they're feeling can be difficult. So the five word reveal is a simple structure that will guide you through to fast emotional insight and create a positive plan of action. And here's how it works. The first step is I want you to think of a situation that is high stakes to you. Something that you know is important, there's a bit of jeopardy, jeopardy around it if it goes well or doesn't go well. And we want it, you want, you're curious, you want to know how do I really feel about this? So get that situation in your mind's eye. A leader, leadership situation, it can be other things, but for our work today, a leadership situation that you want to know how you really feel about it. And let that start to evoke senses in your body. And I want you now, in a column A, and we're gonna to have to have space for a column B next to it, in column A, I want you to write the five honest emotions that best articulate how you truly feel, no PR here, about this high stakes situation that's coming up. Take a moment, write those five emotions down. Now you can pause me if you want more time, but I'm gonna keep going at pace for the video. Once you've written your five emotions, stand back and look at them. Are they honest? Are you being true to yourself? And now I want you to percentage weight those options. Sorry, those emotions. So you might be feeling excited, scared, tired, um, uncertain, and anxious. Just gonna pick some common ones that come up for my clients. So you look at those words and you think, right, out of those words, how much out of 100% am I feeling each and every one? So it gives you a better understanding, that fast emotional insight. So once you've percentage, percentage weighted your emotions, you're now going to look at that list and look at any negative ones that may be there. And normally, if we're honest with ourselves, when we're looking at something that, that's high stakes, that matters, there can be some doubt, so some uncertainty around how you feel, when it's, especially when it's new. So any negative words that might be in your list, now you may have none, that's okay. You may have one, you may have five. That doesn't actually matter at the moment. But look at those words, anything that's negative, right next to it in a new column, I want you to write your positive opposite word for that negative emotion. So say it's anxious. What's your positive opposite word for anxious? If it's fearful, what's your positive opposite word for fearful? And this most important thing is not the word that you think is logical, but the word that comes to you instinctively, that's your positive opposite for any negative emotion or feeling that you have listed. So you've got column A and you've got column B where you're going to take across any positive word could just hop over. You might want to build it. You can if you want. Any negative word, you're going to flip it to the opposite positive in column B. And you're going to stand back and look at it. You've got column A, which has got a whole mishmash normally of positive and negative emotions, and column B, which is pure positive emotion. And you look at it and you say, which one do I want to take with me into situation X? Column A or column B? And to this day, when I ask my clients that question, not one has said, oh, I'd love to take column A, Sally. They always pick column B. Why? Because it's better. It's more positive and it's going to set you up to excel and to be successful. So you're looking at column B, you thought, yeah, that's the one I want. Now, ignoring percentage weightings, I want you to look at the words, the flip from negative to positive, and instinctively, which flip are you drawn to first that will take you from that negative emotion, say anxious, to excited? 
which which one is it? Which one? What of those flips is the one that speaks to you? Now go to that what that flip, and then ask yourself, right? If I'm going to go from anxious to excited, for example, what three things can I do that will move me forward? No, not relying on anyone else, just me. What can I do to go from say anxious to excited? Three things. Well, I could X, I could Y, and I could Z. All right. I'm not going to put that into here because everyone's situation is different. But what are the three things? And then ask yourself, what are the three, how? How are you going to do that for each of the ones? So if one is to share my concerns with somebody else and get their feedback, okay, great, how? Like who are you going to talk to? How are you going to set it up? By when? And how are you going to work on their feedback, for example? So you've got three things that you can do. Can be tiny things or big things, that doesn't matter. And then for each of those three, three hows, how are you going to do that? And you keep working through your list so you've worked every flip, okay? So go to the one that speaks to you first, but if you've got five negative words that have flipped to positive, ideally you do want to work every single one of those five. But you think, right, how do I get from that negative feeling to that positive feeling? Here are my three main things, and here for each of those three things is the how. Bingo! All of a sudden, you had a quick audit on how you truly feel about a situation. You've expressed it, you've owned it, so instantly it diminishes the fear factor. You've also then gone, well, is that what I want and what's the positive opposite? Well, you've weighted them first to see you know, the percentages in which they're affecting how you see the world. The, what's my positive flip from the negative? Oh, look, now I've got a choice. Do I want to take those negative emotions into that situation? Or do I want to equip myself better emotionally to go forward into that high stakes situation where how I feel matters. No, I probably want to go and not have the negatives and yes, I do want to have the positives. Great. Instinctively, which ones do you want to go to first? And what are the three things you can do? And what's so important when you write this, it cannot be in the negative. Don't feel worried. <laughs> it's not very inspiring, is it? What's the opposite of that? And very importantly, three things as to how. And there you go. A very simple, fast, effective, practical way of getting fast emotional insight and super importantly what you can do to drive positive change for yourself. You can use this with the team, you can even use this with the family. It's incredibly powerful. My only watch out to you would be make sure your energy is in the right place to do it especially with other people because you have to catch what they share with you. But as I said my clients love the five word reveal. It's quick, it's easy and so importantly it's effective. So I hope that's helped you, and as ever, if I can help you, you know where I am. Take care, bye-bye.